So thanks, Stefan, for having me. Really honored to be here. Uh, my name is Greg Lee. Uh, I'm the head of Asia Pacific for the Bitfury Group. And Bitfury is the world's leading full service blockchain company. Uh, we are unique in that we do both uh, hardware and software. So our understanding of the blockchain ecosystem goes from the physical transistor level all the way up through blockchain platforms to layer two and layer three applications. Bitfury, we have two divisions. One is hardware and one is software. Our hardware division, uh, actually we design our own ASICs chips. Uh, Bitfury was uh, one of the first companies to innovate ASICs chip mining for Bitcoin. Uh, we design our own servers, our own boards, our own data centers, and we have our unique proprietary immersion cooling systems. So to answer your question specifically, Bitfury focuses on Bitcoin uh, mining and uh, processing and securing the Bitcoin blockchain network. Our software division com comprises of almost 100 uh, software engineers who are actively developing different blockchain projects. Uh, currently, uh, one of our main projects is called Exonum. Exonum is our open source uh, private blockchain solution platform. Uh, and that one is important because uh, uh, many governments are interested in having a blockchain, but around uh, private blockchain systems. Uh, we launched that as an open source uh, platform uh, last summer uh, in July and uh, it's growing rapidly. Uh, it's based upon the Rust programming language for extra security. Uh, we have our own uh, BFT or Byzantine fault tolerance uh, system uh, and uh, other projects include Crystal. Uh, Crystal is an analytical tool for the flow of block, uh, Bitcoin uh, transactions, uh, wallets, and profiles around those transactions and wallets. And in particular, that's interesting for regulators and other organizations who want to get a comfort level around uh, Bitcoin activity, the provenance of Bitcoins, uh, doing risk scoring on uh, wallets and on the provenance of Bitcoin. And another area we're working on actively is uh, Lightning. So Bit uh, Bitfury has been one of the uh, active supporters of the Lightning Network, uh, which would sit on top of the Bitcoin blockchain to really increase the number of uh, transaction throughputs and to take the um, uh, transaction fees to a very low level so that you can enable microtransactions and enable a lot more activity uh, around that. And we have a project called Lightning Peach, which will enable the easier deployment of channels and nodes around the uh, Lightning Network. So that's an example of some of our software activity as well. At least from the hardware perspective, uh, uh, how advanced our technology is, and we're always innovating. Uh, so uh, we believe our uh, servers, our chip technology, our cooling technology, our whole value system along the hardware side uh, is, is really top notch. And this is what our customers uh, believe in. This is why they come to us is, uh, and, and how we develop our, our technology. So. I personally feel like in the future, uh, whether it's five years or several years out, blockchain will su be such an integral part of our society, of our lives, uh, particularly around enterprises and governments, because of the ability of the system to help with transparency, efficiency, auditability, uh, you know, the distributed ledger technology, there's so much we can do with it, both, uh, you know, like I said, on the government level, enterprise level. Uh, and for me to, to leap into an opportunity with Bitfury, which is the leader in the industry, uh, it's fantastic. And uh, Asia Pacific is such a growing part in all aspects of technology. And the leader in terms of blockchain, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, this is a growing part of, of the entire ecosystem worldwide. So I'm really honored to have this opportunity. So. Korea is one of the major economies in the world, uh, one of the highest industrialized countries, and in fact, one of the most uh, high-tech savvy uh, countries in the world. And in particular, uh, 
Korea is, you know, at the forefront of cryptocurrencies in terms of awareness, trading, uh, development. And uh, for Bitfury, naturally, this is one of the countries we would like to establish a presence and also be able to increase the knowledge and awareness of blockchain and help develop uh, blockchain platforms and solutions in Korea. In particular, a uh, developer community, uh, you know, to help build applications uh, using Exonum platform. Uh, and this is something uh, we look forward to. Well, Bitfear as a company, we're committed to using renewable energy sources. So hydro, geothermal, uh, are our main sources of, of electricity mm -hmm. and we're also working uh, to reduce the amount of electricity used in our data centers so in particular like I mentioned earlier our immersion cooling technology mm -hmm. so if you walk into one of our immersion cooling uh, data centers there's no air conditioning there's no fans mm -hmm. no racks uh, because we use a closed system which is a green system mm -hmm. to reduce the amount of, of uh, electricity used so as a company as a whole, we're committed to renewable resources. Like we were discussing earlier, uh, currently Bitfury is focused on Bitcoin uh, processing and securitizing, secure, securing the Bitcoin blockchain network. So. I'm aware that uh, you know, Vitalik and Ethereum, they're moving perhaps towards a proof of stake. Um, I think overall, uh, the idea is how to make blockchain more secure, more efficient, and people are looking for different ways of doing that, and that's one way of doing it. So. We see it as a, as a bright future, uh, but going back to regulators specifically, Bitfury really believes in actually regulation of, of blockchain and cryptocurrencies because it helps legitimize the industry, it helps governments get more comfortable uh, with the technology, and then the basis of that is education. So one of the commitments Bitfury has is, is to educate uh, regulators and government organizations about blockchain, about cryptocurrencies. We formed uh, the Global Blockchain Business Council, which is a worldwide organization uh, where the uh, community can speak as one voice to uh, different regulators in different countries. Uh, where We've innovated with a blockchain alliance, which is the same thing uh, to help educate government organizations and, and things like that. So um, we believe that if the regulators are educated and more comfortable about Bitcoin and blockchain and other cryptocurrencies, the better they will understand it as something that not to be afraid of, but in a technology to embrace, of which cryptocurrency is only one application of overall blockchain. And there's so many other applications out there as well. So. Well, that's an interesting question. I think my advice would be for the ultimate investor uh, is to really examine ultimately where the hardware is and who it comes from and is it real uh, and not just to believe uh, marketing of uh, uh, certain companies. Uh, and this is why Bitfury, you know, we're careful about who, our, uh, who we sell our equipment to. Uh, and in particular, as an example, HUT8, so H-U-T number eight. Uh, in Canada uh, is one of our partners and they're about to uh, you know, list in uh, Toronto Stock Exchange and uh, we're supporting that company uh, with our North American assets in, in mining. So as an example, investors can look, is HUT8 for real? Where are the assets placed? Who is the supplier? Uh, and this is an opportunity for investors to uh, invest in a publicly listed company in mining. So uh, as opposed to other schemes which is, are, are not as clear. So this is one also the motivations for Bitfury to support HUD-8 and its listing uh, with our assets in, in North America. So. Well, 
Well, I think uh, Bitfury's philosophy is always to help uh, continue to decentralize the network. So this is why Bitfury is, you know, as we are building out uh, more equipment and selling more servers and data centers, it's to decentralize the network at the same time to grow the network. Uh, because the larger the uh, Bitcoin blockchain network grows, uh, the more powerful in terms of the security it will be in terms of processing uh, and uh, you know, distributing uh, the ledger information across different nodes across the world. So the larger it can grow, this is something we support. The ultimate goal for Bitfury, that's a tough one. I mean, there's many goals. Uh, I would say certainly is to grow the knowledge about uh, blockchain uh, and to develop blockchain applications in all aspects of life. To, to do good is actually something our, our CEO continuously says, is how can we use blockchain technology to do good and really improve people's lives uh, on a real level. I'd like to add uh, that uh, you know we're really excited about the opportunity in Korea. Uh, Bitfury will be uh, coming to Korea to uh, promote uh, and educate uh, both about our hardware and software and look forward to uh, developing applications here in the Korean market with the Korean community.